Alright guys, we're going to use the barbell for some mobility today. Uh, foam rollers and PVCs are for grimmas, so real athletes use barbells here. You get a lot of work done in a short amount of time, very painful, but you're going to feel a lot better afterwards. It's going to increase your wad times and your strength numbers. So Coach Beretta here, we got two five pound plates stacked on the barbell just to elevate it off the floor and allow for rolling capabilities. Starting on his Achilles area, the lower calf, kind of loosening up the, those heel cords, digging, moving side to side, wiggling his feet around, going to the inside, outside, just looking for any tight spots, applying pressure. Okay, from there, you know, he's, we're just going through quickly for video purposes, but you can spend a while there, and then work your way up to the inside portion and outside portion of the calf, so more higher, mid-calf, searching around, looking for spots, again, applying pressure with that top leg to really dig in there and grind it out. Good, from the calves we can move on to the quads. So this one's gonna be pretty painful after you know 12.3 and 12.5 and squatting and whatnot. But we're gonna loosen up that anterior chain by resting most of the weight, the middle of the barbell right on the quad and kind of working your way down from the hip all the way down to the knee. Good, so working slowly. If you find a spot that's really tight, you just hang out there, you really can push in with your hands, get in there, try and release it, hang out there until you make a change. Working the way down. Okay, from there we can work to the adductors, the inside, the medial quads there. So we kind of turn the toe out. And we're working all the way down to the tear jerk muscle there. That one's going to be pretty painful, kind of rolling out, just hanging there, pushing, pushing hard, releasing any tension you have in those quads. Again, you can work all the way up to the inside, into the groin there, and loosen some stuff up. Okay, the outside's going to be kind of hard to hit here, so instead, we're gonna lay it on the ground and then we're gonna come on top of it. And we're just gonna, if possible, we start one leg on the ground. Um, if we're able, we can stack both legs up. We can even go down to a forearm to get a little more pressure. Good, and then we're just pushing down, we're grinding away. You can move to the outside and inside. You can add a little flexion in there. And, you know, same idea, just grinding away at those tissues. Okay, from there, we're gonna work our way up to the uh, rear shoulder, the lats. Kind of rolling around there, just loosening up the posterior shoulder. Uh, turning the thumb up, kind of moving the arm around. Good, work into the rear delt there. Loosening up that posterior shoulder from all the snatches and cleans. Good, and then lastly, we're going to work that anterior delt, that front of the shoulder. We're just going to take the uh, edge of the, the barbell. We're going to push it down where the uh, chest connects there. And we're just going to go in and out of internal rotation. We're just going to push down, kind of grind it away, loosen anything up in the front of that shoulder. We can also use the foot for a little more pressure. Good. So again, we just blew through these quickly. You can spend, you know, 30 plus minutes on just the quads here. Um, start to throw this into your, your training and reap the benefits. Go ahead, guys.